<laughs> There's the first kingy. That was a bell and a half. Today, team, I'm going to show you how I set up my kingy jigs for vertical jigging. So this is going to be with the Jigstar ring and grommet. So that's the ring and grommet there. You've got the ring where your kingy assist goes onto. You've got the solid ring there, which you put your kingy jig on with a split ring. So the purpose of this team is that grommet there is a lot bigger for your knot. So it takes a lot of pressure off the mono or leader you're using for kingies. So what I've got here, team, is a snap swivel attached to the wall here. Today, I'm gonna do the chain knot which I always do on all my kingy assists. So all I'm gonna do there is you need pressure on here, so you can attach it to anything. I'm using a 100 pound leader. You can use fluorocarbon, you can use non-fluoro, whatever tickles your fancy. You can go heavier and you can crimp if you want, but for today's purposes, I'm showing you how I rig up. All you do is run your line around the grommet like so, and you wanna bring out probably about 20 centimeters tag in, but then because it's 100 pound, I can actually go over that grommet twice. So I've gone around there twice, and now all I'm gonna do is alternating half hitches and pulling down tight on each one. I'm cutting under for the first one. The first one's a little bit tricky, so you need to really guide that one up. So under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, and do that up nice and tight. I find actually saying it as well, you don't miss out and do a double under, then the knot looks all gammy. Then chop that off there, and I just get a cigarette lighter, not normal, and just burn that in. And that's the chain knot there, super strong. You've gone around twice around the gr grommet, so less pressure on there, and if you get one of those giant kingies, that's gonna hold it. Next thing I'm gonna do is attach my assist to that solid ring there. So you got a little solid ring off the side there. Just gonna feed that assist I've made up through. This is a Shimano Odaku skirt as well. So it's a little spongy skirt, which I'm trying for something different, mixing it up. And then you just attach that on like so, and that's that. And that's your assist there, ready to go. Then all you have to do is get a split ring. Doesn't have to be a super strong split ring, guys, because there's no pressure on the split ring. It can be lightweight. As long as it holds your jig and your jig won't come off, this doesn't have to be a heavy duty. It just has to be one that can actually hold it. So you're gonna split ring that onto the large ring there. So I leave my setup like that. Always ready to go. So then I can just change the jigs out whichever color I want. So if I want to put this black one on, all I have to do is, with that split ring, put them on. And there you have it. So then um, at the end of the day when I'm finished, I just take him off, that kingy jig, get rid of him, and my assist stays on there ready to go. But another good thing what you can do, so I've got a Shimano Talica reel cover here. I'm using the Osea Jigger 4000, and this is the cover I use to cover the Osea Jigger 4000. With the Talica cover here, what I'm gonna do is just above the Talica there, punch a hole in the top of the cover there. Next thing I've got is I've got a bit of elastic here. I don't know where I found this from, but I've got a bit of elastic anyway, and it's probably, I don't know, 20 centimeters long, 15 centimeters long. I'll put a bead on there, and at the other end there, I'm just gonna tie just a half, an overhand knot or a granny knot or whatever you wanna call it. Tie that, do it up tight. I've got the bead on there, so it's like that. I've got this little tool. If you've got a Beastmaster, or any Shimano electric reel, it comes with this little line grabber. So I'm just gonna punch that line grabber through there, come through to the other side there, attach that little loop I've made of elastic there, and I'm just gonna pull it through the other side here. This might get a bit uh, finicky, and I've pulled it through, so I've got a little bungee sort of thing sitting there. Right from here, team, I'm just gonna wind up the slack with my OC of Jigger, Run that leader onto the reel. Okay, I've got a bit of slack there. 
Okay, I'm just gonna chuck that cover over the reel now. Do that up tight there. And now with your assist cord on that little bit of bungee there that you've uh, created, you can just wind up the reel and your assist cord will sit on there, ready to go. So on your next trip, take it off and just attach your kingy jig, ready to go. At the end of the trip, take it back off with your little bit of bungee there, hook it back on there, and that holds it there nice and snug and out of the way, ready to go. So that team is how I set up and rig up for kingy fishing.